hello everyone welcome to mechanical software education channel in this video you are going to learn about the stress analysis of continuous beam with triangle load UDL and point load by using ANSYS look at this drawing a beam is placed over four supports one is pinned and uh, other three or roller support so the distance between uh, the pinned to the last uh, uh, roller support is given as 15 meter so the entire length of the uh, beam is 15 meter so here all the dimensions are given in meter and the cross section for this beam is hollow rectangular cross section so here the thickness of uh, uh, the wall is given that is wall thickness is given as 0 0.1 meter and W1 stands for outer width and W2 stands for outer height so both the values are same that is 0 0.5 meter and 0 0.5 meter here and now you are going to uh, divide the entire uh, uh, points uh, uh, with respect to the load and also the distance you can give a point number a point as A and here the point as B and uh, here the point should be taken as C and this should be D and it should be E and uh, it should be F and the final one is going to be G uh, or otherwise you can give numbers here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so totally you have uh, 7 uh, key points you need to uh, complete 7 key points while you are working on ANSYS okay so the distance between A to B is 5 meter and uh, uh, the load acting on uh, the beam is uh, uniformly distributed load that is uh, 6 kilo Newton meter and the distance between C B to C is 2.5 meter and here it is a varying load uh, it starts from 0 to 15 the deviation is 15 we already uh, studied this in the previous videos uh, 15 variation and from uh, C to D the distance is 2.5 meter and it should be decreased from 15 to uh, 0 it is also the deviation is also 15 here okay so the distance between uh, D to E is uh, 1.5 meter and the point load is acting as uh, so uh, 10 kilo Newton here and it is in a downward direction and the distance between uh, E to F is 2 meter and the point load is acting on point F as 10 kilo Newton and now the distance between F and G is 1.5 meter and uh, the extra input uh, parameters we are going to give in ANSYS is Young's modulus value and also uh, your Poisson's ratio value so with the help of these parameters we can uh, draw the continuous beam with the uh, three different loads by using ANSYS let me move on to ANSYS so just start with uh, uh, preferences go to structural preprocessor go to element type add your element and uh, I'm going to choose beam 3 node 189 so this explanation was there in video number 2 so you can check uh, the explanation for uh, uh, 2 node 188 or even 3 node 189 so go to material properties material models and go to structural linear elastic isotropic you can give the value you can check the data that is E value and uh, a Poisson's ratio X models and Poisson's ratio that is 2 E9 and 0 0.33 to E9 and 0 0.33 so give OK and uh, close here now go to sections uh, beam in this common section you can uh, check your uh, uh, rectangular cross section here you have a rectangular hollow cross section so this W1 and W2 you can check in this drawing W1 W2 the value is 0 0.5 meter and 0 0.5 meter the thickness is 0 0.1 meter so here W1 is given as 0 0.5 meter and W2 is 0 0.5 and the thickness all the side of this wall is given as 0 0.1 and they give all the thicknesses 0 0.1 and uh, check your uh, cross section by clicking this preview and now give OK and just go to modeling and you are going to create your key points uh, starting with the inactive coordinate system first key point should be of origin so you apply 
and the second key point so you can uh, check this key points and the distance between A to B is uh, 5 meter so give 5 5 and uh, apply and the third key point and the third key point you can check so 2 sorry 5 plus 2.5 it is 7.5 and the next point is the 10 meter okay so here 7.5 give apply and the fourth key point is at uh, 10 meter give apply and now you can check the other distance from uh, this point to this point that is uh, 1.5 meter and again 2 meter and 1.5 meter so now it is 10 then 11.5 as you are uh, I think uh, fifth point I think you can check 1 2 3 4 now fifth point yes it is a fifth point okay now you okay, apply and now sixth point you just add 2 here because the distance between the uh, sixth node sorry fifth node and uh, sixth node is 2 meter that is 13.5 give apply and now the last no uh, key point that is you just add 1.5 here and now it is 15 give ok now check here that is a fifth uh, key point and sixth po key point having a point load and here uh, key point 1 to 2 uh, the load acting in this uh, key point is nothing but your UDL and from 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 it is a triangular load so go to lines and create a line with uh, straight lines just give ok and now go to meshing size control manual size lines all lines and I'm going to give only 10 10 divisions because uh, the uh, load carrying capacity you can uh, check in a clear way by giving the dimension or the division as 10 if you want to get a, a precise or even a closer result you can give numbers are 100 or 200 that is your choice okay so the entire line so you sorry each and every line <coughs> was divided into 10 equal divisions so now go to mesh and go to line pick all line the entire line was meshed here and now go to plot and uh, click on the line then your line was uh, most uh, visible here then go to numbering and on your uh, key point numbers let me check here one two three four five six seven so we created seven key points here now we are going to give uh, the boundary conditions uh, go to loads and apply structural displacement on key points I'm going to click the first key point as a pinned joint and you can uh, go for uh, select all these things except uh, Z because the rotation should be happens in this uh, pinned joint it is a beam so you just leave this uh, rotation Z so except rotation Z you can uh, select all these things and give OK and now select uh, the same key point and you are going to select the uh, roller support so seventh uh, key point you have a roller support and uh, fourth key point and second key point so here you have a roller support so you can check it out so one two three four five six seven so two four and seventh point having uh, roller support so give ok and now I just uh, fix y direction as uh, fixed sorry like uh, arresting your y direction because it is a roller support so it should be moved in uh, x direction so uh, it should be easier to fix uh, the support in roller support in second fourth and seventh key points okay now you are going to give uh, uh, this UVL that is uniformly varying load so for this one you can uh, uh, create or you can you must write a program for uh, giving loads from left bottom to right top that is from 0 to uh, 15,000 that is uh, 15 kilo Newton per meter so that's why I just use 15,000 so here 
comes the problem uh, it is the code for the left side to right side and this is the code for from uh, top to right bottom okay so now uh, here you can see this there is a key point or the variables uh, start with uh, 11 to 20th element and the direction is x direction as given as 1 so you can see here uh, we just divided the entire line into 10 equal divisions so first key point to second key point it should be 10 and from the second key point it should be started from 11 up to 20 okay the deviation is 10 here and now the shear force beam the k stands for key point or even a variable uh, 2 stands for the load which is acting in the downward direction and we are going to give pressure here so this is incremental that's why we just start with uh, uh, 0 so here it is from the base the starting from a 0th load that's why 0 this is for incremental value so this one stands for x incremental and this one stands for y incremental okay so now k minus 1 k minus 1 stands for uh, k minus this first uh, element that is stands for 11 and this is 15,000 this is the highest uh, peak load here uh, divided by 10 10 is the variation so 11 to 20 the variation is 10 comma the y incremental starts from uh, 0 plus k minus 10 so this 10 uh, is nothing but the previous node the previous sorry not the node it is the element the previous element uh, that is 10 here uh, into 15,000 divided by 10 okay so and uh, that's all the first uh, uh, program it is a cyclic uh, program that's why it's a do and uh, again it should be uh, collectively uh, find this formula for x incremental and also the y incremental then you can go to command prompt you can uh, give your uh, codes and give enter and now you can check uh, the values from 0 to 15,000 okay now go to plot and uh, multiplot you can check the value that is variation between 0 to uh, 15,000 okay now uh, you can implement the next uh, formula it is from left top to right bottom that is from 15,000 to 0 so the same thing the excess part is uh, negative uh, sign that is from uh, left uh, top to right bottom that's why it is uh, a decremental term so we just use uh, negative term here and all the other things will be remain same uh, we just copy this one and give it in the command prompt and give enter and go to multiplots you can check it is a triangular load okay so now after completing this you can uh, go for uh, force our moment on key points you can give fifth and sixth key point give okay and it is a downward direction uh, x direc sorry y direction so you can check the uh, load which is a 10 kilo newton so minus 10 thousand so give okay here so now we already completed uh, two different loads one is a triangular load another uh, another one is a uh, two point loads are there and uh, the next component is to find or we are going to uh, give a udl uniformly distributed load so give pressure on beams and now check with the box and i am going to select this uh, distance between the first key point and the second key point give okay and now give turn it from one to two which stands for the downward direction load and we can check and the load is six kilo newton meter six kilo newton so give six thousand here give okay now uh, we uh, implemented three different loads and now it is ready to solve this problem uh, go to current ls just wait and uh, the solution is done so now go to uh, check your results with uh, general post processor and now check with uh, plot results a uh, deformed shape now check uh, deformed shape first so the load carrying capacity is almost uh, uh, lower compared with your previous videos okay so we are uh, in this uh, uh, drawing or in this problem uh, the load is higher compared with uh, this cross-section okay now go to this counter plot nodal solution 
check with this uh, decrease of freedom solution displacement vector sum give ok now check with your uh, shape and size uh, this is a cross section you can check okay it is a hollow uh, rectangle block you can check and now uh, we can animate uh, this one animate now you can easily understand uh, the concept so I just use uh, rotation sum for uh, decrease of freedom solution so how much uh, deformation happens on the uh, beam you can check it out okay give stop and uh, close and now check uh, your uh, results for stress one measure stress exactly uh, the stress is acting in which region you can check the uh, maximum maximum stress happens on the uh, support it is in a uh, roller support and now go to uh, element table a uh, define table we need to find uh, two different drawings one is a uh, shear force drawing and another one is a bending moment drawing and by sequence number you can uh, go to uh, miscellaneous number give 3 6 16 and uh, the final one is 19 okay give okay so we already know this combination 3 is to 16 and 6 is to 19 3 is to 16 for uh, bending moment and uh, 6 is to 19 for shear force we can go to plot results and go to counter plot line element result 3 cross 16 we can check our result for <coughs> bending moment it is the exact bending moment uh, uh, drawing for our problem so 6 is to 19 it's the next sequence for shear force drawing you can check okay if you want to uh, go for a uh, better results so you can divide the line into 100 equal divisions or even uh, 200 divisions so with the help of that divisions you are you must change the code uh, that we used for uh, uh, 10 uh, equal divisions or the uh, elements between 11 to 20 for our problem if you are going for uh, 200 divisions or 100 divisions you need to change uh, the divisible by here the divisible by 10 is the division if you go for 100 or 200 divisions you need to change it as 100 or 200 okay so uh, if you want to change your background from black to white you can go for reverse video and now take a uh, capture image and you can uh, save your image in bitmap file okay so hope you all understand guys uh, thank you very much uh, subscribe my channel and support me if you gained more knowledge through these videos uh, press like and comment thank you thank you very much